Hello again, everyone. This is Mark with All Natural Aquatics. We're here today at Pets Plus in Lawrenceville, New Jersey for episode 15 of What Did We Get Today? Uh, this is a shipment from a wholesaler down in Florida from Nautilus. Um, interesting assortment of stuff here. We're going to see some, some really cool uh, Florida collected fish, although some of the ones I was really looking forward to did not come in. Uh, Elisoma Finoki, for example, was one that I was probably the most excited to see of anything that's coming. And those did not come. They will be coming in next week. Um, we we're also supposed to get Fungulus, so uh, the river formus so with the red stripes. Um, and those did not come. And actually, we did get those. It was the uh, Chrysanotis, the golden top minnows that didn't come. And a couple other things, the uh, numbers were cut and stuff like that. But we'll see everything as we get through here. Turn that down so the flap's not in the way. Blue Lip Earth Eaters, our gyrostichthys. These are a special order. These are for Austin. Uh, he'll be in tomorrow to pick those up. And then we got a big bag of angelfish here. Looks like a nice mix of colors there. Uh, those came in actually as mediums, but they, they told me they were oversized. They are definitely a bit oversized. So we'll probably be uh, getting breeding pairs of those in a matter of a few months if anybody's interested in uh, breeding some angels. So come down and see us. Again, it is New Jersey. You are required to wear facial coverings. So be aware of that if you're coming out to shop. Bumblebee cats. We haven't had these guys for a while. It's a nice little community tank fish. Um, can't go with nano fish, can't go with anything small enough to fit in its mouth or it will eat it. It maxes out at maybe three inches or so. Uh, really attractively patterned fish. And you know, they do pretty well with um, African cichlids too. I had one for probably 12 years at one point that lived uh, in a 30 gallon tank with a wild cobalt zebra. Um, a buffalo head and a skunk botilla. Those were the only fish that cobalt zebra ever allowed to live with it. I probably tried more females with that fish than any other one I've ever ever kept, and he killed every one of them. I put five females in with him, he'd kill them all in a matter of two weeks. He was just awful, but he was absolutely gorgeous. And he lived for 17 or 18 years. All right, something a lot of people have been asking for. We've been out of them for a while. Dwarf frogs, and these are nice big ones. This is the African dwarf frog, not the clawed frog. That's a, they don't get much bigger than that. Get about the size of a quarter. Um, do not require a heater. Don't even require a filter if you want to go that far. Uh, so they're good fish for smaller smaller tanks and some, or not good fish, but good animal for uh, smaller tanks and for kids' bedrooms, things like that. They eat pellet food really well. No issues keeping them alive. Uh, plecos, just common plecos. And a smaller size common pleco. You know, with the, all the flights and things not coming in, hard to get the plecos I would really rather sell. You know, the rubber lips and bristle noses and all that kind of stuff. There's not as many of that bristles around. And I don't see really any rubbers around right now. Um, you know, the ones that stay small and are going to work really well in most people's tanks. So all we're able to get at the moment is the common plecos, which get really large. And, you know, I'm not a fan of them in tanks because of the size they reach. I think that causes more problems than it solves for long term, especially for people who put them in small tanks. Uh, Parkinson's rainbows, really nice color. See that? Oh. Sorry about that. Trying to get the light at a different angle today and everything a little different angle to see if you can see the fish in the bags better. There's another bag of rainbows here too. Is that more of those or something different? That's another bag of Parkinson on. Again, just great, great color on those. They look really good. 
Oh, uh, something there's a lot of here. Mud fins. Great community tank fish, really hardy. Great beginner's fish. Does not require a heater, so it works well in un unheated tanks. Um, beautiful fish in a planted tank, especially on a green background. Those red fins really just jump out and grab you. And some sort of glow Danios. Just cannot keep the glow fish in stock. Even more right now than, than it's been lately. They are flying out of here. Lemon Oscars. These were also a special order. They're a little more expensive than what I usually like to get them at. So um, just had a couple of people on staff that have been wanting them. So we got them in for them. Um, I'll get them in for store stock again once we really start seeing more stuff coming out of Bangkok again. And, you know, we start getting them at, at a decent price. Um, green Glow Tetras. Neons, there's a couple of bags of these. These are Florida bred neons. Get out of the way. And here the stuff that's underneath them. These are um, wild self and mollies collected in a freshwater spring. There's a couple of males in there, but it's actually a pretty female heavy group. So if somebody's interested in getting some of those to breed, getting extra females should not be an issue. And two drop barbs, Rohan barbs. Awesome fish, mid-sized fish, gets up to about six inches. Um, you see them in the tank behind me there. But we've looked at that quite more closely. There's actually gonna be a video maybe sometime this weekend on uh, on that fish specifically. So watch out for that. All right, that's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tank everybody from these first couple of boxes and then we'll do the rest of them. So I'll talk to you again in a little bit. Okay, folks, um, before we start the next round of boxes, a couple of, couple of other things going here. Um, we do have coming tomorrow, coming in from a, a hobbyist, um, a group of four to six inch True parrot cichlids. This is uh, Cyticus, Hoplarchus Cyticus. That's the real one, not the fake one with the funky mouth and the weird body shape. Um, absolutely phenomenal fish. If you're into bigger cichlids, and this is not one that's overly aggressive, so you can go in with a lot of other stuff, does eat plants. Um, gets good 10 to 12 inches long, um, but really, really a nice fish and a great looking fish. So I don't know if I'll have a chance to shoot those. I won't shoot them when they come in, but I might get some video of them after they're in the tank. And he's also bringing in um, some Equidens patrici, which is a nice medium-sized fish. Again, not overly aggressive. Um, you keep it in a community tank with medium-sized fish. And um, Stahlsberg eye, the, you know, one of the green terror types, but the one you don't see as often. And I think there's something else that I'm forgetting. I don't remember off the top of my head, but that's, those are the ones I can remember anyway. Um, and then the other reason this is a good week is it's Tropical Fish Hobbyist Magazine Week. So we just got in uh, the May and June issue for this year. Uh, there we go, no, no uh, funky reflections. Um, if you didn't know, I am a contributing editor for TFH. My article in this one is on Tetras. Uh, highly recommend you pick this up and read it. I still think, you know, this is the longest running magazine that's been around in the United States. I still think it's the best one. Uh, I love the, the quality of the writing in this magazine. A um, Couple of articles I would specifically really mention in, in this that you ought to look at. If you're into marine fish, I gotta read Jay Hemdahl's article on uh, how to quarantine your marine fish. It is absolutely fantastic. Really spells out the right way to do everything. It's one of the best articles I've seen in quite a while. Um, also, um, uh, the article on green chrom on chromis in general by uh, Bob Fenner. Rob Fenner. By Bob Fenner. Um, it's a great, great article. Uh, most of the other ones I haven't had a chance to read yet. So I'm looking forward to them though. Um, Joshua Weigert always has one in here. We've got, uh, I just don't think James is in here this month. Um, article on Gold Nugget Plicos from Oliver Lucanus. And the uh, Francesco uh, Ricciardi's article on uh, diving in Tabataha. Really, really fantastic pictures. Definitely worth picking this up. Another one of those magazines you should subscribe to. Got peer reviewed, 
good information in magazines as opposed to just something some idiot wrote on the internet. You know, we all can do it. Anybody can do it. Anybody can pretend to be an expert on, you know, on the internet. But if you're actually seeing something that's in print, it's been edited and reviewed, and you know the information is going to be much more reliable. So with that, back to what's, uh, what's new and coming in here. So the uh, feeder goldfish and feeder guppies are already out of the boxes. Um, we've got four more boxes to go, three of fish and one of plants, red glow tetras, orange glow tetras, and sense of theme in this box, blue glow tetras, purple glow tetras, and the other one in here is gold pristella. Really a nice fish. Great fish in a planted tank. Really looks fantastic. Again, super beginner's fish. Easy to keep, easy to maintain. Um, does not require a heater. And real pretty fish. It's got uh, nice red in the fins. You know, similar to what the uh, regular Pristellas would have. Um, but just really great looking fish. It's one of the, the Xanthistic type fish that I really like. Down, slide on over here. Big bag of something. Oh, red devils. And with some black plastic to help keep them from tearing each other up in the bag. These are the killifish. Florida native fungal, fungal species. Yeah, beautiful fish. All right. Albino paradise. For some reason, there's only two in the bag. I'm gonna see it better. This, if you're putting fish outside in tubs for the summer, this is a must. These guys get incredible color on them in the summer outside. Getting that sunlight, the red gets really intense. You know, you get the big flaring fins, easy to maintain, they're gonna spawn, you're gonna get BAP points this fall. Um, you know, and if you've got shows coming up, like early fall, when those coming out of the pond, they look amazing to go in the show. They do really well. Oh. Lucania parva, bluefin killifish. Who are you guys? All right, I'm stumped on this one. Let me grab the invoice. They're brilliant raspberries. Okay. Just not showing any color coming out of the box. Didn't notice what, didn't realize what they were. This is probably another bag of them. Yep, another bag. Okay. Now, last bag of fish, or last box of fish. And we get in plants. <laughs> All right, one really big bag with three bags inside it. I actually ordered six of these, and I got three. These are um, wild Europhalma collected down near Miami. Beautiful fish. If you, uh, it's a Mayan cichlid. If you saw the video that I posted earlier on... Uh, Alligator Alley, 
you've seen you've seen these in the wild in that video if you haven't seen that one take a look for that it's one i posted a few months ago uh it's from when john gerber and i went down there last year driving across alligator alley on our way down to visit fish farms around miami we stopped at uh, an observation center and you know it's amazing how many aquarium fish we saw in the wild there along with mollies and gars and things like that so that was a lot of fun okay last box is plants Cuban Ludwigia. Green temple plant. Hygrophila species. Or Hygrophila probably is the right way to say that. Italian Val. Scarlet Temple, which is an alternate anthro. They'll get much redder than that underwater. You can see the, you can see the flowers on there. They really they grow these all out of water. Uh, they just grow faster, and they ship more easily if they've not been grown in water. So you don't have to worry about keeping them keeping them wet as much, not as much weight. Um, same thing. This is water wisteria. This is what it looks like when it's grown immersed. When you grow it submersed, it's a completely different leaf form. It's the pinnate leaf that everybody loves. It's one of the most popular plants in the hobby. Super Red Mini Ludwigia. It's a bright red, red Ludwigia. It's really, really nice. This is something I don't normally order. I just ordered this this time, just kind of see what came in. This is um, a mixed lot of sword plants. So there's various kind of Doris in there. It looks like there's at least three or four or five kinds in there. So we'll have to get those into a tank and really figure out what they all are. Looks like there's some regular Amazons. Looks like there's some red melons. Might be some radicans. I'm sure there's a couple others there too. Banana plants. Everybody starts out with banana plants. Kids love them. Everybody loves them. Um, this is Myriophyllum. Filigree. Nice, very fine leaf plant. Does take a little more light than a lot of the other stuff that we got in today. Uh, Kabamba. Just regular green Kabamba. Hornwort. You need a floating plant, need somewhere for baby live birds and stuff to hide. That's a really good one. Should be up Madagascar lace plant bulbs, got a bunch of those. Pinnate hygro. And encrypts, this is brown wentai. Those look really nice, great root systems on them. And this is red wentai. Also looks very nice. Again, great roots. And that's really the key on them. All right, and that's everything for today. We will have more stuff coming in next week. Like I was saying, we had the uh, the Elisomas will be coming in next early, sometime early next week, and a few other things as well. Um, watch for on if you haven't seen it on Facebook. I'll be posting a special order list for fish coming in probably the following week. That'll go up today. Lots of rainbows, lots of cichlids, uh, a few other odds and ends. I think there's Bolana socks on there. A lot of cool things. So keep an eye out for that. That's just on my on my pers my, my Facebook page. Just look for Mark Denaro. All my stuff is public, so you can see that on there, no problem. Um, I did start an All Natural Aquatics Facebook page, but I really haven't done much with it yet. But I will post that list on there as well. So you can look for it there too. And if you're local, I hope to see you this weekend. If you're not, hey, We'll see you on down the line. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend and stay safe out there.